The Semoventi Fiat Ansaldo M43-105-25 was an Italian self-propelled gun developed by Fiat and Ansaldo. It was based on the M42-7518 and used in limited numbers by the Arejo Esercito before the armistice on September 8, 1943. After the armistice of Casabile and the occupation of the center in the northern parts of Italy by the Germans, the Semoventi were captured and used by the German army and by the new Italian collaborationist army. Hello, and welcome to another Tank Encyclopedia voiced article. I'm your host, Wood, and today I'll be covering the Simovente M43.10525. If you like our videos and want to support us, please consider donating on Patreon or PayPal. All of the funds will be used to improve future Tank Encyclopedia content. Any help will be greatly appreciated. After the entry into service of the Simovente, Armed with 75mm L18 cannons, based on the chassis of the tanks of the M series, the M13, M40, and M1441, it was found that the vehicles were adequate for infantry support and anti-tank vehicles. However, the Arejo Esercito needed something more heavily armed and armored to be able to fight against the more modern vehicles put into service by the Allies. A specification was issued in mid-1942 for a Semovente that could support the infantry but also fight against such modern threats using the heavy Italian Canon da 105-23. A prototype was built between January 16th and January 28th of 1943. It was presented to the Centro Studi della Motorizzazione, or Center for Motorization Studies, in Rome on February 27th for official testing. The testing of the prototype took about a month. At the end, the Arejo Esercito was very impressed by the firepower of the 105mm cannon. On March 29, 1943, the high command of the Arejo Esercito ordered 130 vehicles divided into two batches, a first batch of 30 and a second of 100 self-propelled guns. It was now officially renamed as the Semoventi Fiat Ansaldo su scafo M43-10525, abbreviated to the Semoventi M43.10525. In English, this basically means self-propelled gun, Fiat Ansaldo, on the whole of the M43, armed with a 105. It was nicknamed Basotto, or Dashend, by the crews for its lower and large profile. The armor was both bolted to an internal frame and partially welded, which was big for an Italian vehicle at the time, and had great thickness compared to other Italian vehicles. The whole armor was 50mm on top and 25mm on the bottom. The superstructure had an armor plate 75mm thick frontally, 45mm on the sides, and the rear was protected by a 35mm plate. A plate of the same thickness protected the back of the engine compartment as well. And finally, the roof and the floor of the vehicle were 15mm. The suspension was a semi-elliptical leaf spring type. On each side, there were four bogies with eight doubled rubber road wheels paired on two suspension units in total. The main armament was a Canone da 10525, sometimes also called the Model SF Sferico for Spherical, also produced by Ansaldo. The gun had a horizontal traverse of 18 degrees to the right and 18 degrees to the left, as well as an elevation of 18 degrees and a depression of 10. The secondary armament consisted of a Breda Model 38 medium machine gun, a vehicle version of the Breda Model 37 medium machine gun used by the Italian infantry. The Semovente M43-105 was the only self-propelled gun of World War II armed with a 105mm and only three crew members. The driver was positioned to the left of the vehicle, on his right was the gun breech. The commander gunner was positioned on the right of the vehicle and the loader radio operator on the left behind the driver. Some sources state that the Germans preferred to add a fourth crewman behind the gunner who would load the gun. The loader's seat would be occupied by the commander radio operator and the gunner would perform only the gunning. Obviously, adding a fourth crewman meant reducing the quantity of 105mm on board and, above all, operating in a fighting compartment that was already pretty cramped with three people. The engine of the Semovente M43 was inherited from the previous self-propelled guns on the M42 chassis, which in turn inherited it from the M1542. This was the Fiat Spa T15B, B standing for benzina or petrol. This was a 12-liter petrol water-cooled engine, developing 190 horsepower at 2400 RPM. It was developed by Fiat and one of its subsidiary companies, the Sochita Piedmontese Automobili, or SPA, meaning Piedmontese Automobile Company. Previously, on Italian vehicles such as the M1139, M1340, and M1441, and the self-propelled guns on those chassis, the engine was a diesel. Due to the scarcity of fuel as early as the beginning of 1942, the Royal Italian Army converted to gasoline with the M1542. 
However, due to the size of the 307 liter gasoline tank compared to the 145 liter tanks of the diesel engines and the fire extinguishing system, the engine was quite reliable. With a power to weight ratio of 12 horsepower per ton and was connected to a Fiat 8 F2 transmission with four forward gears and one reverse gear. This guaranteed a maximum speed of 35 kilometers an hour and a range of 180 kilometers. The first Simo Venti M43 were completed at the beginning of May 1943. The first self-propelled gun, plate number RE5846, was delivered on July 2, 1943 after testing at the tank crew school of the Royal Army in Natunia, about 50 kilometers from Rome. On July 25, 1943, Mussolini was arrested by order of the King of Italy, Vittorio Emmanuel Terzo d'Italia, and the Gran Consiglio del Fascismo. The new government, presided over by Prime Minister Pietro Padorio, ordered the army to continue to fight alongside the Axis powers, even if, almost immediately, in secret, it tried to negotiate an armistice with the Allies. Only the Grupos Corazados DC-1 and DC-2 stationed at Natunia for crew training received all 12 vehicles. The official proclamation was made by U.S. General Dwight Eisenhower on Radio Algiers at 6.30 p.m. and then repeated by Pietro Badoglio in Italian on Radio EIAR at 7.42 p.m. on September 8, 1943. Immediately after the armistice, the German command, which had foreseen the Italian defection, launched Fal Axe, or Operation Axis, meant to take apart the Italian Royal Army. On September 9, 1943, the morning after the radio announcement of the armistice, the 135th Armored Division engaged German troops in the city of Sestano and on the Vio Ostiense, leading to Rome. During the fighting, four Simo Venti M43 105s of the DC 1st Gruppo Corazzato were destroyed. It is not clear whether they were all destroyed by German weapons or whether some were sabotaged by the crews. For the duration of the war, the Germans received another 91 Sturmgeschutz M43 105 25 853 I's produced after the armistice for a total of 116 to be used by the Wehrmacht. While the Germans operated relatively large numbers of M-series tanks and some older Semovente in the Balkans for anti-partisan operations, the more modern Semovente M43 105s were only used in Italy. By the end of September 1943, the German units had around 221 Semoventi at their disposal. At the end of 1943, the 26th Panzer Division had 7, the 356th Infantry Division had 20, and the Panzer Training Unit Sued had 2 Semoventi M43 105s. The greatest concentration of these vehicles was allocated to the Sturmgeschutz Brigade 914 and Sturmgeschutz Brigade 21. By February 1944, the 914th Brigade had some 31 Semovente 105s in its inventory. The 21st Brigada continued to operate the Semovente 105 up to the war's end. By mid-March 1945, it had 56 of them, three of which were given to this unit by the 356th Infantry. The M43 105 was used by the Germans mainly in anti-tank roles when possible. The Italian vehicles, in general, were plagued by the lack of spare parts and ammunition, so the large number of vehicles did not always necessarily mean all were operational, as most would often be stored at the rear for much needed repairs. One occasion where the M43-105 was used was by the Panzer Regiment 26, which attacked the Allied positions at Montsagronia at the end of November 1943. The attack was spearheaded by six Semoventi, three 105s and 375s, and five flame tanks, likely based on the CV series. The attack succeeded with the loss of one flame tank, but the unit was later on attacked by Allied ground attack planes and decimated, with only one Semovente 105 managing to survive. The Germans were generally satisfied with the Semovente vehicles, but noted that these lacked proper observation sites, had insufficient frontal armor, and a cramped crew compartment. After September 8, 1943, the Germans freed Benito Mussolini and took him to Germany to discuss the continuation of the war alongside the Axis with Adolf Hitler. On September 23rd, he returned to Italy as Duce and founded the Repubblica Sociale Italiana, or RSI, a collaborationist state in territories not yet occupied by the Allies. Some Italian prisoners who had remained loyal to Mussolini immediately joined the new Esercito Nazionale Repubblicano, or National Republican Army. The Gruppo Corazzaro Leoncello, or Armored Group, is not clear how the unit took possession of the self-propelled gun. It is supposed that it was one of the examples in service since February 1944 with the first Deposito Caristi in Verona, where it would have been used in the training of tankers. According to the army staff, this vehicle had damaged optics. 
The vehicle, part of the Squadrone Commando, received the nickname Terremoto or Earthquake, painted in capital letters on the front plate. It also had an Italian tricolore, and on the sides, a lion holding between its paws the Fascio Letorio, symbol of the Partito Fascista Italiano, and Italian flags. From January to the first days of April, the vehicle was not used in anti-partisan actions, but only for training, and was stationed in Polpenace Sulgada, 130 kilometers east of Milan, at the headquarters of the armor group. In April 1945, when the situation was desperate, the command squadron was stationed in Milan, avoiding the popular strike and insurrection, but without the Simovente. On the night of April 24th, 1945, the day of the partisan insurrection, that in a few days would lead to the complete loss of the main cities in northern Italy, such as Turin, Genoa, and Milan, a unit formed of the five M-series tanks, some light tanks, and the Semovente, under the orders of the armor group commander Gianluca Zuccaro, moved towards Milan. During the night, an allied aircraft noticed the column and attacked the unit repeatedly, but only with machine guns. It disabled an M-tank that was abandoned on the roadside on the morning of April 25th. After receiving orders to surrender from the armor group headquarters, the tank crew sabotaged the vehicles near Cernusco su Navigio, 100 kilometers from Polpenace, and surrendered to the partisans. The Semovente M43.10525 was produced in small numbers during the war and didn't make much contribution to the Axis forces. Most were used by the Germans, but the lack of supplies and ammunition hindered their use. Their gun proved to be an excellent anti-tank artillery piece. Unfortunately, no M43 has survived to this present day. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and a subscription. You can find more information relating to this article in the full article, which is linked in the description. If you like what we are doing and want us to continue working on these videos, please consider donating on Patreon or PayPal. All of the funds will be allocated to improving our articles and videos for you. Until next time, keep us in your sights.